What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video we are going to be talking about affordable luxury. 10 ways to make your home look high end. I have put together and compiled a list of items using visual examples that I personally have used in my home in other project homes and out there on Pinterest and other websites to help visualize and show you how to make your space look more luxurious and of course not break the bank. I would like to welcome my new subscribers to the channel. If you are new, welcome to the family. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And if you are interested in seeing this video, then just keep watching. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna talk about are faucets. I personally was looking for an inexpensive way to upgrade and uplift my guest and other bathrooms in my home, did a ton of research and realized that you can change your faucets for such a small amount of money and of course make them look high end and more luxurious. I opted personally for the matte black look, but of course there are tons of other options out there. You can get a matte stainless, you can get a gold, a brass, looking. There's so many different options, but I like to stick with something that is going to be matte. I feel like that always looks more high end and more subtle in a more luxurious manner. And I opted, like I said, for the matte black finish, which I will show you and insert pictures of. Again, there are tons of different faucets to choose from as far as style. And I like to go with the size of the bathroom and the size of the vanity. So in my bathroom, I didn't have a really large vanity. Therefore, I didn't want to go with something that wasn't going to be scaled proportionately. I wanted to go with something that was nice and in the medium size range, something that wasn't gonna to be too overwhelming for the space or too small and kind of just blend in and really not make that big of a pop or difference. I will also be inserting different ones down below in the description box if you are looking to find these exact faucets so that you can change up your bathroom and make it look more high end. You can purchase them from so many different places, including Amazon. Amazon is such a great place to shop for home good items because they get here super quick. The shipping is free if you're a Prime member and there are tons of options to choose from. I also wanna mention that this is a super easy DIY project. My husband and I did this in all of our bathrooms in a very short amount of time. So don't feel overwhelmed and don't feel like this is something that you have to hire someone to do. It is very simple and very easy to do. And again, the best part is it makes such a big difference. Next up is shelving. I have shelving all over my house, particularly in the living room. We did an actual custom built-in and when I priced it out, it was so expensive, but I really wanted something to take up the space on both sides of the fireplace without breaking the bank. And I researched till I found exactly what I wanted and I ended up picking the Ikea shelves. Now I also have the Ikea shelves in a different style within the bathrooms, which I can also show you pictures of, but I want to focus on the living room because I want to show you what a difference it makes in making it look high end and luxurious as well as not breaking the bank. These come in a multitude of sizes and colors and finishes, but again, I wanted that light and bright look, which I feel like is very neutral and luxe looking. So I went for the white finish. They were super easy to install and they fit perfectly in that space. Now, as far as the bathrooms, again, there were so many different finishes and colors and they're always coming out with new versions of them. But again, hanging something like that above the toilet or just giving your space more storage, more dimension makes your bathroom that much more high end looking. And again, these are so great because they come in so many different size variations, styles, and they're so cost effective that you can do all of your bathrooms and still not break the bank. The great thing about Ikea is they also sell so many different cabinets that are super inexpensive. So you can also incorporate those below the shelves for a more high end look. If you have a super open living room or a very open space, maybe in an office that you want to create an entire wall full of shelving and cabinetry, it's a great way to do that. And again, much more cost effective. I also think it's great because you can change out the hardware, paint them if you wish, and again, give it a totally different dramatic look for very little cost. And again, I will link some of my favorites in the description box down below from Ikea. Next up, we're going to talk about faux trees. And this is something that I really have been getting into this past year and I'm going to get into 
more this coming year. I love faux trees. I think that they're so multifunctional and useful in every single space. And the great thing is they're becoming more and more affordable. So of course you can shop for these sorts of items at places like Target, Ikea, Home Goods. I have scored some really great, amazing pieces at Home Goods, but those aren't always easily accessible. I know that they have their online platform, but they still have not incorporated some of those larger pieces. So I'm going to share with you some of my favorites down below. The great part about this is that you can change them up, whether it's with the height or the texture by changing the planter and the base that they're in, as well as raising them up with some books or boxes. I also love to incorporate texture by adding and incorporating some moss and grass at the top of the planter to give it a more finished and complete look. And for this new year, I'm going to tackle doing a DIY one from scratch, which means that I'm going to go out and find a huge vessel to put it in. I'm going to find the branch somewhere out in the world, and I'm going to actually hand put on the leaves and stems to give it a nice high-end look. Now, of course, this is something that's going to take a lot of time and tedious work, but that's going to be a total DIY project. If that's something that's too much for you, then I would definitely stick with something down the middle, which is using a prefabricated faux tree and incorporating a nice custom vessel, some moss on top, and giving it that nice height according to the scale that's in the room. So if you have a really large open room, then you're gonna wanna have a really tall tree, I would say minimum of six feet. And if your room is really small, then I would say a minimum of five feet. And again, using those books and boxes to give it the custom desired height to fit your room is gonna give you that nice high-end look and luxurious feel. Okay, next up, we are gonna talk about one of my favorite things that I have done thus far in my home, and that is changing all of my cabinetry and my door hardware to matte black. I think that this was such an inexpensive way to make it look modern, up to date, and of course, high end and luxurious. This was something that was completely purchased from Amazon, so it was really easy to purchase as well as install. We installed them all by ourselves, and it made such a big difference. I would say if there's one thing that has been the biggest difference in our home, it was definitely changing everything to black hardware. Now, of course, there are tons of choices out there. You can get, you know, the black handle like we have. You can get the black round knob if you want to. You can get them in other colors and other finishes. But for me, I love a classic look. I love something that's not going to go out of style. And I love something matte because it just looks more high-end and luxurious to me. So I'm going to link the exact ones that we purchased down below. Don't forget if you're going to do something like this, you need to get the actual handle for the door and then the hinges for the side of the door and then the strike plate, which is where the door actually locks and clicks into. Those are three separate pieces and three separate items that you're going to need. Now, as far as the cabinetry in the kitchen or cabinetry in the bathrooms, I, of course, will link everything that we purchased down below as well. I like to keep things cohesive and use similar styles throughout the home, but the beauty of this is that you can always change it up and make each bathroom or each room unique. I will say that if you're going to do the kitchen, that I would keep everything clean and concise. Again, something that's not going to date, something that's not going to go out of style in you know a year or two, and something that you're gonna love looking at because you look at it every single day. Now for a bathroom, if you have a powder room, I think it would be nice to have something unique and different to pull in with the lighting or a wallpaper or paint color that you have, maybe accessories that you have above the toilet on some shelves. But as far as the kitchen, I would keep everything cohesive and go as large as you possibly can. Now, unfortunately for us, ours were already pre-drilled, so I didn't want to repaint all of the cabinets, so I had to stick with that same size. But if your cabinets are not pre-drilled, then definitely choose a large handle as big as you possibly can, because remember, the kitchen is going to be something that's large and open, and if you have a really large handle, it's going to make everything look up, bright, beautiful, and luxurious. Remember, you can also tie in things like the faucet. If you wanna tie in that matte black color, if you're doing a gold, you could also tie it in with changing the faucet, or you can leave it and leave it as just a moot point and have your cabinetry be the star of the show. I also love in smaller bathrooms to use a knob instead of a handle. I think that it's more scale appropriate, but if you have a bigger, more open bathroom, of course you can use whatever you want. There's so many options out there. And again, somewhere like Amazon is going to have all of those options available to you. I also love that in the reviews, you can actually click and look at the pictures to see what these things look like in specific people's homes and specific people's rooms. 
This helps give you an idea of what it's gonna look like in person, the scale and the size, and of course, the finished product. Next, we're gonna talk about curtains. I have so many different curtains that I have tried over the years, and my tried and true favorite that I feel like always look the best and never fail. They go in every single type of home and every single type of project is none other than my favorite Ikea curtains. Now the beauty of Ikea is they are always coming out with new curtains, but I love my tried and true that I of course will link down below for you. I will show you some different pictures. These are all the same curtains, but in different rooms. So it kind of shows you the versatility of them. I also love them because these curtains in specific can be hung so many different ways. Now that is something that I think is important to note because when you're purchasing curtains, you need to know not only how light and visible they are, like how much light comes through them, if they have any blackout finish to them, but also how they can be hung. Can you slide them on a curtain rod? Do they have big metal grommets? How versatile are they in hanging? And these curtains in specific can be hung on a rod. They can also be pinch pleated and hung with hooks, or they can be actually pinched with the clips that come with the hooks. So you have three totally different ways to hang them, which gives them three totally different looks. I think that that's the beauty of it, which is great because whether you get tired of it or you wanna have the same curtain but a different look in every room, it gives you that versatility. The great thing about Ikea too is they also sell the metal hooks and the black round hooks to put on the curtain rods. They also come in multiple colors in a gray color, silver color, and a gold finish. And I, of course, will link all of those below for you guys so you can see the differences and how amazing these curtains can look in every single room of your home. Another great thing to note is when you are hanging curtains, make sure that you are hanging them high and that you have a sufficient amount of panels because there's nothing worse than having a really big area or room that you're trying to finish, but you don't have enough panels. Therefore, it's going to look small, inexpensive. I like to hang my curtain rods high, and especially in a bedroom, if it has a small window, you can also extend the curtain rod out and then just make everything even. So you really aren't going to see the ends of the window. So you're not gonna know how big or how small the window is, which of course is going to give the room a more big appearance and make it look like the window is much larger. I also love the rods from Ikea, but I'm also going to incorporate some of my favorite rods from Target. They have some really great finishes, especially in my bedroom. I wanted to incorporate some wood and more of a silver finish, which I found a really great Project 62 rod that I used and incorporated that. I also incorporated some blackout panels on the insides of those curtains to give them a really nice heavy finish. The curtains as well are from Target and not from Ikea, so I'll be sure to incorporate all of those in the description box down below. Hello. Next, we're going to talk about bedding, and I love bedding because it is so versatile nowadays. You have Casa Luna from Target, you have duvets from Ikea, you have so many affordable ways to make your bed look like Pottery Barn, but without breaking the bank. And one of the nice shortcuts that I figured out was especially in a standard sham. You have a standard sham that you're going to put behind the bed pillow or in front of the bed pillow on a bed is to make it look more luxurious and high end. I love taking inexpensive standard pillows and putting two of them in the standard sham. It's not only gonna give that high-end hotel luxurious look, but it's going to make them nice and firm so they stand upright, giving your bed a more high-end look. I also love incorporating Euro shams, whether they match the bedding or not, just for a nice high-end, big, large textural element to tie everything in the bed together. Target has some really great options for Euro shams. Another thing that I love is Ikea sells just fabric. You can get the fabric and cut it and sew it yourself to make a custom look, or you can go somewhere like Home Goods and get a Euro sham size pillow, which they do sell from time to time in the regular pillow section, and just put your own insert in and add it to the bedding to give a more custom luxe look. I also love incorporating two different comforters and a throw blanket or coverlet to a bed to give it a more luxurious look. In my master bedroom, I did this by using my first layer as a regular goose down comforter, which we use at night to cover up with. And then on top of that, a second layer of a comforter, which happens to be my favorite white linen from Casa Luna. And then on top of that, layering a nice coverlet, which is really long, which gives it a textural element as well as nice, 
clean lines because it's so long that it drapes right off the ends of the bed. Again, this is gonna give you that comfort factor and that high-end Pottery Barn look. Another great thing about utilizing this in that way is that it's going to save your comforter so you don't have to wash it all the time, you don't have to risk damaging it, staining it, any of those sorts of things because you're really going to be utilizing the duvet comforter underneath to cover up with at night. And of course, when you make your bed, it's going to give it that nice plush look because you're gonna have two different comforters layered with lots of texture, and then incorporating those pillows will give it that polished, clean, high-end look. Next up, we're going to talk about lighting, and this is one of my favorite things because in my house in particular, we don't have a lot of natural light. So if you're in the same situation, the beauty of this is that you can incorporate so many different things such as mirrors, you can use lighting around the bar area with strip lighting, you can use lighting with light bulbs in your lamps and use a smart light so that you can dim it brighten it and even change the color of the lighting. You can use lighting strips to light up around your TV and fireplace. You can use lighting under the cabinetry to bring the light up. You can also use pendant lights, freestanding lights, and my favorite accent lighting of a table lamp. Now, of course, the best light is natural light, but if you don't have a lot of natural light, there's so many great ways to utilize that. With all of the lighting that I talked about, I'm going to link some of my favorite down below, and one of my favorites is using smart lighting. We have smart light bulbs as well as smart strip lights that you can plug in that are Wi-Fi activated, and the beauty of that is you can change the ambiance and the mood. So if you're doing a dinner party, you might want something a little bit more warm, but for during the day, of course, to make it luxe and high-end looking, you want that bright, cool LED light look because it's going to bring all of the light to the most natural state possible. And the best part about it is you can link everything together so that all of the lights in the home are in unison and the same color. I also love incorporating standing or leaning mirrors to add dimension and natural light to bounce the light off of each other to bring everything up and give it that nice natural feel. These can be found at Home Goods, Home Depot, Target, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, My Michaels. There's so many different mirrors you can utilize and incorporate a leaning mirror on top of a dresser, a leaning mirror against a wall, and using that with a natural light from the window, and then maybe a accent lamp, bringing all of those different lighting elements together will give you that nice, light, bright, high-end look. Next up, I wanna talk about millwork, and this is my favorite thing that I feel like you can never have enough of, and that is different millwork in the home. So I'm going to show you a few examples of millwork that we have added specifically in our home that I feel has given it a nice, high-end, luxurious look, and of course, didn't break the bank. The first is this high-end bathroom. We just added some small wood to the wall, give it a nice textural element, as well as a nice monochromatic look, but giving it more dimension with that accent wood on the wall. I love the way that this turned out and I love the pattern. I feel like it's something classic and of course, something that was inexpensive as well. We used the same exact paint that was on the walls and just painted over top of the wood. I love this look and feel like this can be done in so many different ways. I'm also going to show you a few other pictures of ideas that I want to incorporate in my home as well as far as millwork on the actual wall. I love the trimmed out look, giving that classic look that's never going to go out of style, as well as a nice square pattern that will match any theme and any home decor style. Next up, I want to talk about millwork around windows. I think that this is so beautiful and so traditional and classic looking. It's something that's never going to go out of style, and it's something that's going to to make your curtains and your window drapery look that much more high-end and luxurious. This is going to be a little bit more on the expensive side, but I think can be done in a more inexpensive way by doing it yourself. There are so many different examples of this, and of course, another option would be plantation shutters. This is going to give you that nice millwork around the window, as well as giving you that cover if you don't like curtains. Now this is definitely the most expensive option out of them all, but again, it's going to give you that same nice high-end look. And my last example of this that I'm gonna talk about is around the closet. There is nothing worse than a simple plain closet that looks drab in a small room. And I think the best way to open that up is to change the molding around the closet and possibly even change the doors. Now, of course, doing both of those can be a little bit expensive. So if you just wanted to get that high-end look, I would definitely 
recommend just changing the trim around the closet doors or the doorway if you wanted to do it around the actual door into the room. But I think this is such a nice high-end look that's going to bring everything up. It's going to bring it more to scale and it's going to make it look high-end and luxe. This particular picture was one that my dad and I did in my beauty room and I love the way that it turned out. These doors were something that we were going to custom make ourselves and I found on Home Depot com for around $200. They were super inexpensive, super easy to install, and I love the way that the finished product looked. Next, I want to talk about pillows. These are so fun to collect and I found to be so inexpensive at places like HomeGoods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. Now, sometimes you have to do a little bit of digging and sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but these are so worth it and I'm going to tell you why. You can get really large, oversized, and sometimes Euro Sham pillows at these stores that not only have a really nice cover, but a nice feather down insert as well, which is great because it makes them not only high end and luxury, luxurious looking, but multi-useful because you can take the cover off, use the insert and put a different cover on. So if you wanted to switch them out, use some for the couch, some for the bed, some for an accent chair, it gives you that ability to do it without breaking the bank. Every single pillow that I have in my home is from Home Goods, so I'm going to show you some examples of what those look like to show you that you can have a really nice, plush, high end looking space without breaking the bank. The great thing about Home Goods, too, is even if a pillow is expensive, which every now and again I have seen there, they do go on clearance. And I will also show you two of the pillows that were really expensive that I actually ended up getting on clearance as well. I also think this is a really great way to make your couch or furniture look that much more high end looking by adding texture and size. I would definitely say when it comes to pillows, the bigger, the better. I don't think there is such thing as too big of a pillow. I think that it's always going to make it look that much more high end and luxe when you have a nice big pillow, you give it a good chop, and it gives that nice color and texture to whatever furniture it's on. Speaking of furniture, my last but certainly not least way to make your home look high end is by getting a nice high end looking couch that is not going to break the bank. And that is my infamous cloud couch dupe. I got the Tanavi sofa about a year ago from Ashley Furniture and absolutely love it. I have talked about this sofa so many different times. I've done reviews on this sofa and still love it just as much now as when we purchased it. I know some of you have purchased this sofa and it's taken so long to get to you because of all of the shipping delays that we have had over the past two years, but I promise when you get it, it is definitely worth it. It gives that nice cloud couch vibe, but for about a quarter of the price. The great thing about this couch is it is completely customizable. They sell it by individual pieces or sets. So if you have a really specific or unique layout or plan to your home or room, this is the perfect couch for you because you can buy each piece individually. I specifically went for the really large, long chase lounge look and love the way that it turned out. I ended up getting two ottomans, two end pieces, and two individual single pieces, push them together, and it is a perfect fit for my large open size living room floor plan. I will link everything down below on the one that I got, as well as some combinations they already have available on the website. If you don't see the combination that you want, I would definitely recommend going in in person. I purchased mine in person from the store and had a really great experience and had about a six week shipping time until the couch was in our home. I have been asked a lot of questions about if I still love it and I absolutely do. The only thing I would recommend is using a blanket or something to lay on because you're going to avoid spilling and you're you're going to avoid pilling. Now, if you have had this occur, which I've had a little bit on the end pieces, I just take my little pilling machine from Amazon, which I can also link below for you and just smooth out the surface. I also recommend Folex because I did have a little bit of a stain that I got on the couch and super easily was able to get that out. And it still looks so plush and so beautiful. I do flip the cushions and it looks just as nice and high end as the day that I got it. There of course are other brands and other stores that sell cloud couch dupes as well. I'll link some of those below for you guys. So there are tons of options to choose from. So if you really want the cloud couch look and that nice high end luxurious feel in your home, you can do it without breaking the bank. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will link everything in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.